Hey guys, welcome back to the One Piece at a Time Distilling Institute with your host Alan Bishop. The uh, the channel where I do the best I can to share the knowledge I have with as many people as I can uh, in home distilling and sometimes professional distilling to help them get a little bit more involved in their art. Um, if you guys have any questions, as always, reach out to me, bishopshomegrown at gmail.com. Reach out to me in the uh, YouTube comments or you can reach out to me on social media and I'll do the best that I can to answer your question to the best of my ability. So today, uh, just kind of checking in. Um, so years ago I used to post a lot on uh, let's call them home distiller forums really a lot of them are moonshine centric forums and and that's fine um, there's nothing wrong with being a moonshiner or a home distiller one way or the other I typically don't make a lot of distinction although I will say that the um, the wannabe outlaw attitude on some of the moonshine forums is kind of funny to me uh, but it is what it is right I mean when you when you go out and you put yourself out there and you're trying to share the knowledge that you have and the knowledge that you gained um, from years of doing this <clears throat> and instead of people coming back and being like hey yeah thanks for you know sharing that but did you ever think about this did you ever think about this um, can you talk to me about this and most people do that because most people are not assholes but some y'all just assholes that's all there is to it um, mean Facebook comments don't bother me I find them somewhat humorous you were you're very much so old man yelling at the clouds truthfully most of the time uh, and it doesn't get you anywhere because you don't teach me anything and I subsequently can't teach you anything and therefore we're not learning anything. We're wasting our time uh, basically masturbating at our keyboards without the payoff, honestly. So I don't know if that makes you feel very outlaw or not, but if it does, it's okay. I'm sure somebody will bake you a hero cookie and feel sorry for you. That being said, what I wanted to address in this video is the following. There's this preponderance of Science and technology should be kept out of distillation. No, dipshit. Distillation is science. Distillation came from alchemy. The word chemistry comes from alchemy. Whether you realize it or not, you're dealing with science. Now, do I agree that there is some amount of um, taking it too far? Sometimes, yeah, I do. Um, but there's a place for that too. And some of these guys that are that have, you know, chemistry degrees and stuff like that I've had they and gals too obviously I've had plenty of things that they've made in this world that are absolutely delicious and they understand a lot of the concepts that my piddly little brain can't wrap itself around um, because they've done the research they've earned it now they don't look at it the same way I do they look at it as a hard scientific you know fact it's not for them it's it's not as much of an art probably as it is to somebody like me or, or spirituality right I have a very different approach I've been very honest about that from the get-go um, I've always approached distillation from a spiritual perspective and historically it was originally approached from a uh, spiritual perspective. But it cracks me up when I see people uh, say that anything that's added to the art of distillation that is science-y, I don't even know what the fuck that means, science-y, that's not a real thing. Uh, it just takes away from the art. You know, and this could be anything from hydrometers, alcoholometers, etc., right, um, to electric elements and all that stuff. Listen, I know that you think that you're the smartest person in the room. I'm sure that you probably have five or six followers as hard-headed as you are that think they're the smartest people in the room and that you're God amongst men. But as someone who's been up against a lot harsher critics than any of you could ever be on the legal side of things, your comments don't mean that much because there's nothing to learn from them, okay? There's nothing wrong with traditional Appalachian style moonshining. And if that's what you want to do and you want to make just sugar shine, I'm all for it. I've made a lot of sugar shine and I like sugar shine and I'm not ashamed of it. Do I like to take things deeper than that? Yes. Do I like to also know what's going on with my mash sometimes? Do I always use a pH meter? No. Do I always use a triple scale hydrometer? No, because I pretty much know what the outcome is going to be when I make those sort of products. But if you're going to go deeper into the art of distillation, yeah, it doesn't hurt to know those measurements. And listen, guys, it ain't nothing new. All this stuff that you guys are complaining about, the very few of you that do complain, all right, the stuff you're complaining about is stuff that has existed for over 130 years now. Okay? Right? Maybe your grandpa that worked out in the backwoods, he didn't ever have to use a nothing. Yeah, he probably didn't. But you know what else? He probably also learned the art of distillation initially from somebody who knew it earlier than him, possibly even his own grandfather, who had possibly worked 
in a legal distillery at one point in time because let's face it there was a long period of time in this country from 1818 January of 1818 all the way up until 1862 where there was no excise tax meaning that there were a lot of legal distilleries because there was no reason to run them illegally and the person that he learned his art from probably worked in a legal distillery where they relied on a lot of these their fancy mechanisms or what you might think of as fancy mechanisms to further involve themselves in their art and make their art better again there's nothing wrong if you guys want to be as basic as you can with moonshine that's that's fine and i'm here for that too i'm here to help people with that in any way that i can if they want my help and a lot of other people out there are here to help with that in any other way that they can if you want their help but don't be a dick just to be a dick what because you think that somebody what i think happens is you read a comment and you get intimidated probably because your elevator don't go all the way to the top potentially or, or maybe there's some other learning issues there whatever and you get intimidated and it makes you mad because god damn i never heard that before i could fuck fuck i didn't fuck i didn't know that and instead of going i didn't know that before i'm gonna learn something from it you go this motherfucker don't know what the fuck he's talking about Does it do you any fucking good you feel better about yourself Are you an outlaw Are you a badass out there out there just uh just a kicking ass and taking names. Everybody knows who I am. I outlaw moonshiner in my, my fucking backyard. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. And if they do care, it's probably for a fleeting moment in time in your life. Don't be a dick to other people that want to learn this stuff. It's just simple etiquette. There's really nothing to learn from this video. This is just me trying to find a way to externalize reading through some comments this morning and making sure that, uh, that those people know that I've heard them, and I see them, and I know they're out there, and I don't care. But I want these new people that are coming into this, or let's say other professional distillers who might step into doing this sort of thing to help people because they want to see other distilleries come online and flourish. I want them to see this and know that it's a normal thing, unfortunately, amongst these moonshine pages. And some of them, I really love some of these moonshine pages. But one out of every 20 comments is going to be some fucking asshole, period. And I want these people to know that before they get into this so that they know what to expect. So that when they go, man, I'm going to put a really, really put a lot of time and effort into this to help somebody out. And I'm going to really put a lot of time and effort into this to maybe help these people get to the next level. So that they don't get online the next morning and be like, well, this fucking asshole doesn't know what the fucking blah, 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 science and blah, 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 I'm an outlaw, motherfucker. I just want them to know up front. So, and bear in mind, guys, that run pages out there, um, and I'm not singling any of them out, and, and there's a couple of them, Rock Gut Moonshiners here lately has been very good to me, for sure. There's a couple of uh, pages out there where you should definitely keep an eye on this because it's going to run off people, not only that are newbies, but people who may have some real background and some real experience and might want to help other people out. But the first time they have that kind of experience, it's going to ruin it for them, guys. So... I guess really all I'm trying to say is, be a good person. Don't be an asshole. You ain't really an outlaw. A couple of y'all, a couple of people out there I've talked to, I consider outlaws because of the lifestyle that they, they live, but they ain't the ones out there fucking running their mouths. You know, they're out there trying to help people too by doing videos like John Miller and making malt corn, etc. Okay? And living the lifestyle. The rest of you are just pretending you're part of Sons of Fucking Anarchy, and you're not. So... That being said, have a good day. Take care of your neighbor. Take care of your friends. I love y'all. I'll catch you soon. And uh, be sure to, uh, to like, share, and subscribe for the One Piece of Time Distilling Institute. Later, guys.